Hello, it's Nessa Tilson here. In this video, I would like to show some of the more advanced features of Polyboard for modelling volumes. In my last videos, I'd shown how to use freeform shapes to get a, just draw any shape and have a plan on the plan view and have a build a cabinet around that shape. I've also showed how to put slanting uh, tops on, on bits of furniture. We're going to go a bit further in this video, combine the two, and, sh and I'm going to show you how we can put very complex uh, tops on bits of furniture, how we can combine the complex plan with a complex um, front view and a complex uh, side view, and also we're going to look on how we can put in slanting shelves and divisions. We can see this model here is quite a complex model uh, with a freeform plan, a curved elevation and also a curved style uh, side view. We also have here the slanting shelves. So let's get into the demonstration and I'll show you how we can do this pretty easily with polyboard. Okay, here we are in um, Project CAD, this is my CAD system. Um, I've drawn up quickly the different profiles of this bit of furniture that I want to make. Um, when we have this type of furniture to make, it's always much easier to set up a profile if we need a pr precise profile, precise shape, precise dimensions in a CAD system like Project CAD or AutoCAD or any 2D CAD system. And just set it up and give um, take take off the the CAD program the different sizes it will be using to put into the parametric program like Pro Polyboard or Stair Designer when building stairs. The the principles are exactly the same. I have drawn here the elevation of the bit of furniture. So I have um, I've also taken the sizes of this bit of furniture and I've put in some coordinate dimensions. Uh, ordinate dimensions that is from this point here to give me the different points that make up this these this sloping side and the uh, side view is here and I've taken the same thing done the same thing here I've taken the the uh, the ordinate co uh, coordinates from this point here of all the different panels that make up the, c the curved like side view the plan view is here and I've also put in here the ordinate coordinates of the plan view you see that in red all these dimensions which I've set up in ProjectCAD I'm now going to use in um, polyboard to set up the bit of furniture in its global dimensions let's start a new bit of furniture and let's just see how we do this we just open a new bit of furniture take a free free shape and we go into editing the free shape Let's start a new shape and let's start, we'll put one point down and this point, we'll put it at zero, zero. The, the point being at zero, zero, we are now going to put another point in on the right and we're going to put it in at, if we look in the CAD program, the ordinate of this is one meter fifty to the right. So we just put in here the X position at 1 meter 50 we click the tick point puts it at 1 meter 50 we now know that the second point is down 300 let's use the, the grids the grids here are 50 mil so this is 10 20 300 the other point was here at 1 1 0 0 and minus 600 so we've got to put in one point here and we're going to put it at one one zero zero and we're going to put it in here minus six hundred and I click the tick point and then we're going to put another point in here from the CAD program is at four hundred minus six hundred and so we put this point in at four hundred minus six hundred and then we will close this shape oh sorry let's open this shape as I didn't put in the right shape here so I'm just going to put it over here and now we'll close this shape this shape is now in place. It is exact sizes, exact sizes because we've used the exact coordinates that came from the CAD system. And now we're just going to characterize it and call this a back. Sorry, a back. We're going to call this a side. And this is going to call this a front. 
this is where we're going to call it a front. Call this one a front, and call this one a side. And now let's say OK. And now we have our basic bit of furniture with a, a custom plan view. Now, to get our our other elements of our shape, let's just go into see in our CAD program what we've got here. Right, we want the left hand side of our bit of furniture to look like this. And we've got the coordinates of the different of the different angles as it moves up the shape. So let's uh, let's go in and, and put that shape in. So let's take a modify the top and put a multi multi sloping top. This is going to enable us to change the shape of the top. Um, let's take the first point, which is the point here, and from the CAD program we can see that this point is at uh, minus 592. So we're just going to get here on the Y position minus 592. And now we've put in one slope, put in another point here for the next point. This next point is at uh, 49 by 363. So we just put in um, 49 and it's minus 363. And the next point is 181 by minus 170. So we put one point in here. 181 by minus 170. Well, this is not exactly right, is it? This point is not certainly not right. 49 by minus 36 is not right. I think it's minus 36.3. That looks better to me. Put another point in here. Third point. This point is 378 by minus 43. So 378 by minus 43. And then we have one last point, which is the last point here that's lined up with the top, flat top, 608 by 608 by 0 on the y side. And here we have that point. I didn't do that properly, did I? That is not that's the right one. I, I forgot to put the point in. Let's put a point in. I put that one back at um, 37843. Let's say. 378 by minus 43. And let's put a new point in, and this one will be 0 on the y, and it will be, what did I say, 608. 608. And now we have the, the sloping front, or the, the curved sort of front part, which looks like this. Now what we want to do is to do the side profile. The side profile being this profile here, and we do it exactly the same way, but we use the, the complementary function of the sloping tops. So we go into modify, and we use sloping tops, multiple, multiple sloping top again. But instead of choosing the front profile, let's use profile 2, which is in fact the side profile. You can see here the, the red line shows us what we're working on, the X point being here. 0, 0, and the last y, and what we want to do is let's just move this point down to start with. So this is this point here, which is in fact my, is 600 minus 554. So we do have 600 and it's minus 554. And we have a slope, one slope coming in here. Put the first point in here at 559 minus 363. So we have 559 and minus 363. The second point coming in at 427 minus 170. 427 and minus 170. That point. The next point coming in at 230 minus 43. 230 and minus 43 and that is 
the, the side profile of our bit of furniture. We take that in place. And now let's look at what it's, what it's giving us Project Code. Project Code has built the shape of the top of a bit of furniture. This curvy sort of shape. All right, let's put a few elements into this bit of furniture. Let's put in, for instance, let's put in a, a shelf or a shelf, a bottom shelf. So we say from the bottom we want it at uh, 600. The shelf comes in. Let's put in a put in a door. Put in another door here. And put in another door here. And let's uh, put in the up uh, put in an upright here, and we see what happens. We put one upright in the middle, and we can see that polyboard is actually calculated. Just leaning it in quickly, polyboard has actually calculated the shape of the upright here. If we put in this side here, and we put in some shelves, let's add uh, three shelves, four shelves, and see what polyboard does. Polyboard has actually calculated the intersection of the shelves with the complex form that we've made by, that we've created with the different profiles. So each shelf has got its specific shape. On the other side, let's put in some different shelves. In this side, we're going to put in what's called free divisions. And the free division is a shelf or a vertical division, but it's put in at any angle. So let's say we put in another, let's put in three. And in fact, what we want is to slope the shelf. We click here on this button here, and we can see we can slope the shelf in any direction. In both directions, let's put it at zero, just give a front slope on it. And we see the polyboard has put those shelves in very neatly, and the shelves are the shapes are calculated. Right, the uh, the, uh, the slope is not very is not very big, so let's, we can change those slopes. Let's put um, it's minus ten. Let's say minus twenty five. There we go. Gives them a, a more you know more pronounced slope, so we can see clear. So here we have that bit of furniture with sloping shelves on this side. Now let's look at what Polyboard has given us as a you know in the uh, cutting lists. Here we have the uh, workshop document with an isometric view plan, the full cutting list, and what's interesting for this particular bit of furniture is we have really the, the shape and the angles of every single part that makes up this bit of furniture. And there's quite a lot of parts here because the shape is getting quite complicated. There we go. Here we have the shelves with the curved sections. And this is all ready for machining. Right, thank you very much for looking at this little video and I hope it's uh, been of interest to you and has shown you how you can build very, very complicated shapes and Polyboard just manages to calculate it all. Very neat, very neat. Thank you very much. Goodbye.